Hey guys, I just got a couple of packages in. Um, one of them is from Newegg. Uh, I know I said before on my other videos that I was going to update my computer like in 2012, late 2012 when Ivy Bridge was going to come out and uh, uh, I got this, uh, the other videos that I did uh, like the for the 7970, I, I, when I got that in and I tested it on my old system, it didn't perform as well as some other ones, some other 7970s that are out there. But they're using uh, more up-to-date motherboards and processors like the 1155 uh, Sandy Bridge. So I decided uh, just to upgrade right now. Uh, I got this motherboard. This is the first time I've ever used this be uh, before. I mainly stuck with MSI uh, for Intel or AMD. But I, so I like some of the features that this uh, motherboard has. Let me show you. It's from Ashrock. It's a 1155 motherboard. Let's see if you guys can see this. And it's a uh, PCI Express 3.0 ready. It doesn't really matter with the, the video card. And it's also ready for IB Bridge in case I uh, want to update the processor when, when it comes out. Um, I uh, actually ordered a, a process, uh, 1155 processor, Sandy Bridge. It's an i7-2600K that's been out for a while. I know a lot of guys already have those. Uh, so I'm going to use that for now and maybe next year I'll, I'll, once the Ivy Bridge uh, processor is out, I'll order that and install it on this motherboard. And I promised a friend in New York, he's also a place, uh, he's going to place an order for the same type of motherboard that I would show it to him. And I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to do something different with this. Um, I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna do a water cool. Uh, a lot of the parts that I got from uh, Performance PC. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I got. I'd never done water cooling before, so this is gonna be the first. looks really nice and let me uh, look at some of the uh, things that this comes with you got your SATA cables I guess there are three of them three SATA cables and it comes with a slide bridge and uh, what is this? Uh, oh, this is a crossfire bridge. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't come with a whole lot of things here. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna open the box for from Performance PC for my water cooling adventure let's see if you guys can see from there
decay. I got the uh, red hose that I'm going to use. For now, I'm just going to do the processor, the uh, CPU. Uh, and then later on, once I get the hang of this, um, I'm going to install a uh, water block for my video card. But I just want to give this a try first, see how it goes, you know, before I do anything, uh, anything else that's major. And yeah, it's um, UV active. Uh, I forgot the name of for. It's PrimoFlex tubing. So we got that. Oh, and it's uh, inner diameter is one and a half. Outer diameter, I think, is three four. And I'm guessing this is the liquid. Yeah. Here's the liquid. It's from Coolens. And it's fluorescent. So use this. And here we have. Now, I wasn't sure about this. I've never, I've never done water cooling, but. Um, from what I've seen on the internet, this is probably one of the best things you can have when you want a quick disconnect without all the, uh, without bleeding your, your, um, your whole system, your whole cooling system. Is these uh, from coolants? It's um, quick disconnect. You got a, I got two females and two males. So um, these are going to go directly to the. Uh, Reservoir and the pump. It, it's all in together with um, some sort of controller. I, I'll show you in a little while what it is. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, here we have six compress compression fittings, and they're all matte black. And let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you see these little O-rings. There if you guys can see. Hold on a second. Right there. Well, there's a little O-ring. They come in different colors. So if you're like uh, going with a the green theme, you have that and you got red. And I guess yellow. <laughs> they give you that option. And this is my uh, Swift Tech. Processor, the Swift Tech. Here you go. You guys can see that. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to disconnect and take these things out and put the um, compression fitting on here and use that instead. Looks really nice. It's black, goes with the theme of the case. Black and red. And this is the one I tell you about. It's a combo pump and reservoir. You guys can see that. This is what I got. It's uh, an RP980 base system. So, there's not a whole lot of reviews on these, so I'll tell you guys how it performs. There's the uh, reservoir. And I'm guessing the pump's in here somewhere. And it's uh, five and a half. So just slide it inside the uh, case. And 
Yeah, slide it inside the case and that's pretty much it. Uh, here's the fill port. That's why I got these uh, quick disconnect cables. They're gonna go right, you got the, um, the tubing. They're gonna go from, you know, I'm gonna, not directly on this because they're not, they're not uh, threaded, but you're gonna have tubing coming from the compression, fit, uh, compression fittings and then I'm gonna use the uh, quick disconnects and then uh, pull this out and then fill it from here from when, when it's outside and fill the, um, from the fill port. And the last part of this, see if you guys can see this, is the radiator. And this is going to go on top of my case. And um, you got, I'll show you in a little while, the case. And um, also the compre compression fittings are going to go obviously here. And a couple of 120 millimeter fans on the bottom. And let me show you the case. Uh, I think you are all familiar with this. I've done so many videos on this already on this one case, but it's a case I'm going to keep for a while. I was looking around to see uh, what else I can get, but, you know, it's just uh, everything that's out there is either too expensive, the ones that I like anyway, or aren't close to what the half X is. Well, th this is a conversion. Uh, you guys have seen the video. It's a conversion of the half ninth, you know, from the 932 to the, to a half X. So the reason I got this, uh, you know, with the five and a half uh, already installed, um, the reservoir and the pump is because I want to keep my 200 millimeter fans uh, behind the optic and drive base. So I get to keep these. Uh, I got some uh, extension cables for the optic drive, so the optic drive is going to go on the bottom and the coolant uh, system is going to go on top here. Uh, everything, all the wiring, all the cables are already installed so I don't have to worry about that stuff. You know, um, I'm going to do a dry run on the motherboard. Once the processor comes in, I'm going to do a dry run, see how that works before installing any of the uh, water cooling thing. Once that's done, I'm going to then install the, um, the motherboard with the, with the block and then do, um, you know, uh, run the water system and uh, jump my motherboard, my uh, process, I mean, power supply and see how it runs with the, uh, without the motherboard obviously running or, or any of the uh, systems running. You gotta, from what I've seen on other videos, you gotta uh, see if there's any leaks or anything like that for a while. So I'm gonna do that. It's a pretty big project for the weekend and I'll do a second video, or probably it's gonna be three videos, and show you the rest. So, what else? I forgot to tell you guys something. Huh. No, that's it. All right. Uh, if you guys have any uh, questions or any comments, please go ahead and post them, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.